excited for this one actually. I am very pleasantly surprised at this. I love this. I really like this outfit. Hello friends, welcome back. Oh, the dust. You join me on this beautiful sunny Sunday morning and today I'm going to be styling some pieces for you. I'm on a bit of a self-inflicted spending ban at the moment so instead of going thrifting today I thought I would do a little styling video for you which could be fun. I am a huge lover of Pinterest as I think I think most creative people are and I get a lot of my outfit inspiration from Pinterest so I thought today it would be fun to try and style some of the pieces that I've recently thrifted and try and recreate some really cool outfits that I've seen on Pinterest and see how close I can get to those outfits with pieces that I own that I have thrifted so it's gonna be a bit of a challenge today and I'm really excited to see the outfits that come from this I think Pinterest really helps me sort of step out of my comfort zone a bit in terms of fashion and be a bit more creative with what I wear so I'm very excited I have screenshotted a few outfits that I found that I think I have a few pieces that work that I want to recreate. So I will pop them on the screen as we go. So let's just go for it. So this first outfit, I love, I feel like it's work appropriate and like casual appropriate. Um, I love the like fun pops of color on top of like a very basic sort of base. So I'm going to show you the pieces that I think will work for this and then I'm going to pop them on and you can see the finished result. This is the first piece, check a blazer. It's like brown and black with really neon sort of bright green checks running through and i'm obsessed with it i probably got this like a year or two ago i got this from hunter markets and it's been a great fun staple for me i also thrifted this white t-shirt recently not much to say about it great staple plain white tee and then finally this skirt that sarah actually thrifted for me and she gave this to me in our recent um like thrift bundle exchange i will link that video somewhere because it was so fun and it's just like a khaki midi skirt but it has a really cool like layer detail at the bottom and sort of ruching details all through it and it's a bit low rise which is kind of fun i'm really excited for this one actually like we're off to a strong start but let's not speak too soon okay i'm gonna put it on and show you we're off to a winner i love this outfit i think this turned out so good i'm gonna start another video of what this looks like from my phone so you can see better because this landscape obviously isn't great to show it off but I love how it's such a chill base and then these two pieces just add like a really fun pop of colour and a bit more interest. I would definitely wear this. I would wear this to work like in spring. I would wear this out just for a coffee. I'd wear this shopping. This is a very versatile outfit and I think very easy to recreate. Love. We're off to a great start. This light is very harsh. This is also a great way if you're feeling like you need a little wardrobe refresh like you feel like you're looking in your wardrobe and there's nothing to wear a classic situation i feel like this is going to give me a lot of great like go-to outfits like if i'm struggling for outfits in the coming weeks i'll be like oh that one that i put together in the video is going to be great so it's going to give me a new perspective on the things that i own so i'm having a great time so far on to number two this one is a little bit more edgy a bit more grungy which i do feel like is kind of me at the moment i'm really enjoying the skirt over pants trend I think it's very cool and i like that this is denim i've done it with like a black skirt and black pants before but never with a denim skirt and jeans so we're going to give this a go i have a jacket like that a leather jacket that i recently thrifted um i have a bag like that that i recently thrifted and i'm excited to put this together okay i'm actually really excited about this one so this is the jacket which i think is perfect it's actually a very dark brown but it's like so dark brown that it almost looks black um just like a bit of a fitted beautiful leather jacket i've worn this so much since i got in this bag oh, is also perfect for this look just like a black slouchy big bag again i've used this to death it's actually full of my stuff because i used this yesterday um and i love it i love the buckle detailing like the silver buckles i think it's like a bit edgy a bit fun um and it's actually really practical the jeans and the skirt that i have that's not that interesting um I wasn't sure about the top and the shoes in this because I know from looking at that photo I don't have anything that similar. Um, I love how the top is not black, it's a little bit lighter and I love the stripe detailing. So I thought I would try this shirt that I thrifted. It's just like a white and grey striped shirt with like ruffles down the front. I just thought it was very like early 2000s Lizzie McGuire moment. So I thought I'd give that a go. I feel like that could definitely work in place of the grey kind of striped jumper that she's wearing. I'm very unsure about her shoes. She's wearing sort of like very square toe 
what looked like ballet flats, like black ballet flats, which I don't have, but I remembered that I have these black boots that are square toed. Um, again, I thrifted these years ago. I got these from Hunter Markets as well for like $10 or something, and they're just such a good black staple boot. Normally I love like a pointed toe, but I do really like the square type. I think it's quite fun and quite modern. So I thought this could definitely work. I also don't have the silver chains that she has, but I do have this just like a silver heart pendant on a black little chain. So I thought that could work. Let's put it on. I'm excited about this one as well. <laughs> I'm gonna say that for everyone. Okay, this is where we're at. I like it, but I think this is like not sitting open enough and it's just looking like too much up here. So I think I'm gonna swap this out for like a black, just a black V-neck. Um, I also forgot this has like a big silver buckle on it. So I feel like this and this is like too much happening up here, but I think we definitely have potential. So I'm just gonna swap out this top and then I'll be right back. Again, I'll insert a proper video of me flouncing around. This feels much better. I feel like the other one was just doing too much. Whereas this one is very like, oh, I just threw this on. I didn't really try very hard and I just look effortlessly very cool. I think the layering adds like enough detail and enough, how many times can I say the word cool? Enough coolness, if you know what I mean? That you don't need too much else happening with this one. So just keeping it more simple, I think is perfect. I'm happy I made that swap. Sometimes you don't get it right the first time and that's okay. That's part of the process. This next one is a trend that I've seen a lot on Pinterest and it's like the football jersey sport jersey sort of trend um it kind of makes me laugh like it's obviously a lot of like american girls wearing like uk football tops and making it fashion but it's a vibe you know and it's it kind of works i have a lot of football tops in my home courtesy of chris so it's going to be an arsenal top or an england top basically and um i love this outfit she's fashioned it with like a tartany skirt which i have and i might do some like fun heel boots and just make it a bit of a vibe so let's give it a go okay I'm very excited for this one because today is actually the Women's World Cup final and England are in it. So I'm going out this evening to go and watch it and what a better way to celebrate. So this is the first piece. Thanks Chris for this top, just a red England shirt. Um, it's also obviously going to be a bit oversized for me. So that's kind of fun. I feel like that adds to the vibe. I'm going to pair it with this skirt. This is a tartan sort of pleated midi skirt it's got like a red line through it not sure if you can really see i thrifted this a while ago from savers and it's like probably just below knee length i'm um, pretty sure it's someone's school skirt but that's fine i feel like that's very cool and then i'm going to pair it with these booties which i am obsessed with i got these off facebook marketplace um the brand is bellini they are the freya boot F-R-E-J-A. And they're just like the perfect little pointy toe 90s boot. They're also quite nice and wide on the calf, which is great because I have quite big calves. Struggle with boots a lot of the time. And they also do make them, I've looked on the website, they make them in like a wider calf size as well. So if you're someone that struggles with that, recommend. And then finally, this little bag, which I got from Fitzroy Markets a while ago and um i just thought it's cute because it has like the tartan it has red going through it and it's just a bit edgy and a bit more fun so the vision for this is great and i'm really really hoping this lives up to what's in my head let's find out i am very pleasantly surprised at this oh this is so cute i'm not gonna lie i was very skeptical of this trend i thought it was kind of strange but you know what? I should have had more faith in my Pinterest girlies because I feel like this is very cute. I'm gonna go take pics in this outfit after I finish this video. I'm just shocked to be honest with you, but I'm really pleased that I gave that a go because I think this is such a fun outfit. I'm excited to get some photos. I feel like I should just do this like every week. Just like revitalizing my wardrobe. Okay, the next outfit is a totally different vibe. It's gonna be very, it's very chill, almost very beachy, I think, like summery. Yeah, just very comfortable and loose. I feel like, yeah, on a summer's day or like spring, just going to grab a coffee, going to the market. That's the kind of vibe I get. Chill ocean energy. And um, yeah, I've thrifted a jumper recently that I think is gonna be perfect for this. So let me go and grab my things. This is the jumper that I recently thrifted. It's cream, 
it's got like a big it's kind of creased it's got like a blue and a black stripe going through the middle of it and it's just very like slouchy off the shoulder like very long wide sleeves it's very like the vibe you know beachy i also have this skirt i couldn't tell you where i got this from that jumper's from savers by the way no idea just a random op shop near me um and it's just a white linen flowy skirt um it's elastic so it can sit like a little bit lower which i really like and yeah this is just super cheap and i knew it'd be a great staple and i have already worn this a lot and i ain't even sell it yet i have a cap this is not thrifted this is from the brand thrills um i think i bought this a year or two ago it's just a brown cap with the thrills logo in like blue and white i thought the blue would be cute to tie in with the blue stripe on the jumper and then i have this little beach bag again thrifted and it's just like your basic straw big beach bag it's lined and it's got a zip closure which i really like about it and then my my adidas especial which is like the cheaper version of a samba let's give it a whirl oh my gosh i'm gonna take this off so you can see me but i put the outfit in i love this so much i'm so surprised honestly this is like doesn't feel i suppose it's stupid because i have all these items but it just feels a little bit more like boho than i would usually dress but i really like this outfit i feel like this is such a good little summer staple i love that there's like a few pops of color and like the hat just makes it a bit more edgy i guess but yeah it's such like a fun i feel like i struggle to dress in summer when it's hot because i obviously you don't want to wear too many layers and i just kind of chuck on like a, a little sundress and that's it but i feel like this is a great little summer staple it's still cool it still feels quite me but um yeah summer appropriate so i'm very excited to wear this once the weather gets better i know i've said this i keep saying this but i'm really glad that i did this i thought like this is gonna be really helpful for me putting together outfits in the future i could not recommend doing this more <laughs> on to the last one um, this one's gonna be a bit more work appropriate a bit more kind of tailored and put together which i think is fun i'm going for all different styles today who is she yeah this is just a very chic simple but chic sort of office wear but i've thrifted some shoes that are quite similar to this recently um and i have a few of these sort of more basic pieces so i think i can put something together okay so for this the basics just some gray smart gray wide leg pants um again these were from hunter markets a while ago a great staple i've worn these 80 million thousand times and i love them so much they're very flattering i also have a white shirt that i thrifted with a very dirty makeup on the collar just realized ignore that plain white shirt again probably part of someone's school uniform at some point i love this sweater vest thing that she's wearing on that photo um i don't have one the same as that but i do have just a plain yellow it's like a it's actually really pretty it's like a very light butter yellow little sweater vest again i've worn this quite a lot great to just like layer over things you can wear on its own you can wear it over shirts good staple and then for the accessories these are the boots that i mentioned i thrifted these maybe a couple of weeks ago and i haven't actually worn them yet but they're so lovely just cream little ankle boots um i love the little silver buckle detail they're just very like chic stunning and then i thought to sort of bring this outfit a little bit darker it's all very light and pastely at the moment which is beautiful but i thought it might be nice to add a slightly darker element so i thought just my brown little shoulder hobo bag it has like silver ring details and yeah i just thought this would be a bit of a contrast against the light outfit so let's see another success i really like this outfit i feel like it's definitely more sort of work vibes for me i've actually worn something similar to this before to work yeah if your style is just more like chic and tailored and you just like elevated basics i feel like this is going to be a great outfit for you and yeah that's all i'm going to do today i think that was five outfits i really really enjoyed this thank you so much for watching i had a great time this has really helped me revitalize my love for the items in my wardrobe it's given me some ideas of how to style some of these new thrifted pieces and um yeah hopefully it's helped you as well give you a few ideas fully recommend doing this in your wardrobe go to pinterest find some outfits that you love and just try and put something similar together from what you already own but yeah thank you so so much for watching i really appreciate you being here especially if you're here to the end if you're not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe now i do lots of fun thrifting hauls and styling videos like this and it would mean a lot to me have a beautiful rest of your day I will see you in the next video.